G'day guys, welcome to game number three between Amazon and uh, National Instruments. So, uh, in the bottom left here, I believe this map is called Howling Peaks in Heart of the Swarm. We have got a KX here from Amazon, the blue Terran player. And in the top right from National Instruments, who is this? This is Straylight, spawning as the Red Zerg. Yep, and it's all on him. Mm. I remember getting some info on National Instruments from my good buddy Sanjay. I think Sanjay is the captain of National Instruments. Shout out to him. Uh, he gave me a lot of helpful information about National Instruments. Actually, so much information that I can't really talk about all of it in the cast, but Straylight used to be a Brood War champion. So wow. if anyone's going to be able to take, the, take, a, take a player out, it's going to be Straylight. And he has got a pretty arduous task ahead of him. He needs to take out three... Well, he basically needs to uh, win against Amazon for the next... Um, oh, sorry. Actually, it's not all kills. So <laughs> it's, it's, uh, he has to win this game, and then his buddy hopefully has the skills to pay the bills as well in, in uh, game number four, and then there's an ace as well. Mm, uh, or Amazon pressure. could just could just straight up 3-0. We don't know. So, yep. uh, yeah. We watch these games fresh. We don't pre-watch them because we want to uh, yep. experience excitement, much like you guys. That's do. right. I'm not very good at feigning excitement. I'm sorry no. to say, guys. I'm <laughs> really not that professional. I'm a bad. I'm a bad actor. So uh, and a terrible, terrible person as far as that goes. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep these replays fresh. We did it for the preseason as well um, for some practice casts. Just sort of you know getting the replays and not really looking at uh, you know times or anything like that. So. Yeah, it's the way to go. And that way we also get to explore um, HOTS and all the changes as everyone else does by seeing what yep. crazy things they whip out in their games. And we've got a Terran for the first time. That's right, we do indeed have a Terran for the first time. So we've actually seen every uh, versus Zerg matchup. We can see that all of the National yep. Instruments players have been Zerg so far. They uh, picked the good race. <laughs> that's right, guys. the superior race. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually playing a lot of Terran these days. I'm enjoying playing humans. I know a lot of people are like, why would you play? Why would you play humans in a in a space game? That's boring. Why wouldn't you play aliens? Well, That's what I used to think about World of Warcraft. I was like, why <laughs> yeah. would anyone pick these? Yeah, humans? why would you be a so human? There are so many non-human races. It's a fantasy world. <laughs> yeah, humans exactly. are not fantasy. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, but Terrans are actually pretty badass, and uh, well, they have lots of cool. guns. Yeah, they've got like Thors and stuff and cool mm. technologies. So. And Thors are really cool now. They have that uh, uh, that different anti-air mode and don't have oh, yeah. energy bars anymore, so they're actually quite useful in TVP again. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to see some more of those uh, be whipped out in these HODS games. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll even see a couple of Thors in this TVZ. That would make my day. Yet. That would make my day indeed. Uh, we see some links coming out now for uh, for Straylight, so he's going to try and get something done here. It looks like uh, Achaix is getting a very he's getting very early gases here, double gassing. So generally, if you're going to go bio play, you go for um, for the yeah. He's definitely not bioing here. You can see yeah. that the factory is going down. I was going to say you get those two barracks and then you get the gases, and then yeah, you get it the looks women. Yeah, like he might be heading into some sort of banshee play. Quite possibly, although this could be Widow Mines. Oh, yeah. There's a reactor going down there. too much of uh, Wings yeah. Liberty style here. Get that Wings of Liberty filth out of your brain, Zeph. Yeah. It is all about Heart of the Swarm right now. Nice bunker placement here as well. Very link proof. And yeah. Straylight is uh, just trying to kill this SCV that's scouting here, and he will kill it. Because another thing about not watching replays is we've been caught surprised. Well, I've been caught by surprise where I actually exclaim quite loudly when I see the physics engine... Because <laughs> uh, I was not expecting stuff like bandlings to glow and explode like that. Oh, but bodies to fly so everywhere. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. Seeing Terran Marine bodies just ragdoll off the side yeah. of cliffs and stuff like that. Oh. If we see some siege tanks in this game, we'll get to see um, the full potential of those uh, oh. nice little physics additions. And this looks one 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 ish actually. This is actually Wings of Liberty style. So excuse me for uh, for scolding you for thinking Wings of Liberty. This is actually looking very Wings of Liberty. Looks like it might be Hellion Banshee or Hellion Raven. I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, well, it is still his first couple of um, units coming out here. So mm -hmm. there's still potential for Widow Mines. They're a good defensive tool. So um, perhaps he doesn't want them just yet because he wants the map control first. We could still get them. Indeed. See one Ling here spotting these Hellions. And I don't believe they get Hellbat mode until the Armory. I think that's still in effect, so the Hellions are just stock standard Hellions heading across the map now. Only just two Hellions, though. Uh, didn't make the usual four or six and then go into the natural there, which yep. is 
generally what we see in Wings Liberty. They're actually just, like you said, just getting some map control, looking for uh, for anything that they can kill, scouting lings, taking away the, the map vision away. I don't, there are actually, yeah, there are Zelnaga watchtowers in this map. The, the Zerg mm. does have them both. And so he's just, yeah, trying to find some drones at this third, but none to be seen. This is actually a pretty nice map, but those watchtowers really don't cover all that much. I mean, Straylight has done a good job of taking them, and the Hellions have actually missed them so far, but they don't cover the middle of the map, so you could march right Ooh. up to the natural and not see anything. And Straylight here is trying to set up a little bit of a wall, but oh, these Hellions wall. are actually going to be able to do super damage here. This is enough de Hellions to deal with these lings. <laughs> They're trying to find a way in, but great wall by Straylight, in fact. Not letting them in. A couple of drones get roasted Ooh. on the side, but the Queen tells them off. And some more drones being roasted. These lings are actually going to line up for the Hellions! Oh, oh god! No. All the lings are dead and one Hellion will die. Three still live though and he needs to pull these drones out of here. Oh dear, he's going to lose so many drones here. He's already up to over oh, 10 man. workers killed. And he's making and 10 drones. Oh no, he's in so much trouble. Actually just one Hellion left now. That's not as scary. The Queen can get rid of this. Uh, some lings yeah. as well, but there has been quite a lot of damage done to the Zerg player. Look at that, 11 workers killed and 10, z 10 Zerglings as well, so... Wow, that's and, such big oh, damage. That's bad luck, really. I mean, that, that is looks just, like yeah. a complete wall. It did. And it was a pretty cool defense otherwise, so not to worry. Things and now like there is a Banshee that's about to have Cloak. This is very obnoxious play here for Achaix. Very hard to deal with as a Zerg player. And that third is actually a little bit difficult to defend for the Zerg because there is not much of a, uh, you know, you can't really cover the distance in creeps. So yeah. on this map, it's very hard for Queens to come down here and deal with this. So he actually has to probably sack the third here. Desperately yeah. trying to get a Spore Crawler up, but I don't think it'll finish in time. Does get one shot off there. That's such a shame. Well, at least he can stay on these two bases quite comfortably and try and drone a bit. But the Hellions are still a threat again, so he may need some extra units to defend against that. And I don't believe he knows about the cloak yet either. So, oh gosh, this is such a tough position. But at the very least, Straylight does have that Spire coming up. He does have the Spire. Does he even have enough drones to... Yes, he has about 40 drones. That will be enough to get a few muters. Uh, so hopefully that can turn it around for him. Of course, all these units are very killable by muters. They cannot shoot up. Uh, and another Banshee with Cloak heading into the main here and gonna get those upgrades Of course, we know that uh, vehicle plating and actually air plating is is culminated on the one upgrade now Oh, and this hatchery got spotted by that uh, Banshee did save the drone by turning. No, it does cancel actually yeah, he... well... Can it actually out DPS the hatchery being built? Don't actually know Um. No, I don't think so. It'll keep it very low if it catches it early on but um it won't actually get it, but by the time it finishes, if you just let it beat away on it, it will be so low, it's almost not worth keeping. But anyway, these meters are going to sweep oh. in here very shortly, and we can see the Cakes is actually going mech. Yeah, and he's also got a Thor that's going to pop just in time for these meters as well. In they come into the main, and they needed to do devastating damage here, but there's just not enough meters to deal with the Thors, I don't th to deal with the Thor, I don't think. Uh, they will get a few, few workers, though. I see the yeah. SCVs ragdolling away as they blow up. Getting this gas is pretty cool because he is going mech if he manages to uh, get some damage done here. You see those yeah. armories working in overdrive. Oh, the barracks here, uh, the bunker, sorry, getting a bit of damage on these muters. The turret oh, doing the same no. as well. At and the same time, we have Hellions and Banshees in the main. Oh, the God. Oh, oh, the carnage. It is indeed. That's a lot of Hellions, Zeph. And the it Banshees just extra DPS. I don't think they've even needed to cloak at this point. No. Uh, let's have a look at the drone count now. It's 17 to 50. Oh, uh, our Straylight, our National Instruments, Brood War Hero is actually in a world of hurt here. I think this might actually be, uh, well, it's starting to look like it might actually be a quick 3-0 here for Amazon. Uh, unfortunately right. for National Instruments, they are new to the competition. National uh, Amazon's been in the game for, well, they've been in the tournament for the first two seasons. But um, National Instruments, brand new to Season 3. They wanted to get a win here for Week 1. Uh, yeah. Sorry, National Instruments fans. That's too many Thors and turrets. Yeah, I like how he's trying to be aggressive and trying to get something done yeah. and going back to droning, but it's such a tough position for him. If those muters could only fly that little bit faster, even after yeah. the buff, they might have gotten <laughs> to right. the base before those turrets were up and that Thor was out. But they are regenerating it is pretty quickly, though. It's just lucky day. That's right. So, KX is Cloak Banshee now going to work on the Queens. And now he just doesn't have any anti-air in the main left. And there's the GG from Straylight. 
Nice 3-0. Well played there from Amazon. Commiserations to National Instruments. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, I am Maynard and with me is Zef. Uh, did you enjoy that 3-0 uh, there, Zef? Yeah. Although it was quick, the games were actually fairly short. It was very enjoyable. Saw some great play from both sides. Interesting strats as well. And I mm -hmm. am looking forward to seeing some more. Yep, we'll be seeing you guys in week number two. So we cannot wait. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Maynard and Zef signing out for now.